sorry. Welcome back uh, once again. Let's look at some critical areas of uh, business reconstruction. Good. So we said that your exam should be in basically three, two to three style. The first style will be they'll give you a struggling company, their financial position, and then they'll ask you to prepare a state of the or the position of the company if you should wind up or liquidate immediately good as the first section. Second section can also be that now they are not going to liquidate but instead they will opt for reorganizing or capital reduction. So they will they will need a scheme. So in exam, the examiner will prepare the scheme for you already. And then they will ask you to prepare the financial position and any other relevant entries. We call it closing entries. Normally, it's the capital reduction accounts. And then the other. So they will ask you to prepare the capital reduction account and the financial position. Good. Uh, good. So that is it. I'll be get that. Then the last one, the a bit that's a bit terrible. That's what we started last week, where you be asked to design your own scheme and examination condition using the six steps approach. Then you are fine. Good. So now let's see. So today we'll be looking at the B section because A and C, we are done with it. So today we are looking at the B, where they'll give you a scheme. The examiner will prepare the scheme for you and they will ask us to prepare the balance sheet if the scheme is being implemented immediately. If they implement the scheme, what will be the new financial position? So that is it. That is the today's version. Because the version C, we've done it. A and B, we are done with it. Just that if you have any question, you can ask before you finish the B. Good. Today's class will be very short for the B. As long as you are down with the B, then you are down with the capital reduction in business reconstruction. What level is a question solving? Don't forget that, uh, for example, three is take home. Take home examination or take home work. But it's the solution. It's the solution. The one with the solution, I don't normally like it. Okay. So I've arranged it according to A, B, and C. So you can see that the first question is on liquidation. So statement of liquidation. So in event of liquidation, what will happen? Good. Then from there, we moved to Preparing statement of financial position with a given scheme. Good. Now I use Kumasi Shoe Factory as a test case. Yeah, that's example two. You can only do justice to it. Just that today I will not solve that question because the solution is there. What I will solve is the uh, one of the questions. Is it normal to be? No, not as a matter. So today we are solving. Uh, there's a question. This in the tutorial question. It has dropped two times for the IC. That's the question that I'm solving today. But for your case, hmm, don't say. I don't comment anything for now. Let's put on some examining. Good. Uh, where is the question? The question is. It's in the third question. No solution. Not a question. Uh, the question, what's the name of the question? What's the name of the question? No, this is not a question. Uh, a buying. A buying is um, last year, April. Your past question. 
good, 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 good. Now let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Good. We are in the tutorial questions. Good. Iwawa is a last setting my intervention question. Good. And then iodine is also part of class setting second question. Then what again? Uh, question three. Hmm. Better brains limited. Wow. The brains are better. Off. <laughs> this is the one kill us with the name that we normally use. Adam Limited, ICMA 2010. Good. Have you seen this question? The same question dropped for two times for IC, just the last sitting. It came. And it came in May 2010. Good. This is the May 2010 version, how it was stated. Then I'll show you how the November 2019 last sitting was stated. That was the last question. That's the last question. The last question in the handout. So, the last question. This is very one. Is it this one? Oh, it's not this one. Yes. Yeah. This is the repeated question. Mahadi. Yeah. So, just taking notes. So, I'll choose one question for you. Just watch it carefully. Just watch that question. I think I've seen that question. Good. Just watch that question carefully. And question eight, that's the question that we are going to solve today. To do our question eight. It came in ICA in November 2016 and it dropped again in November 2011. So you can see. I think this is the 2016 version. The 2011 version is, uh, is in front. I want to see 2011 somewhere here. Somewhere. Good, this is 2011. When I see the question, uh, now just, now just uh, walk you through the slight changes. But there's no change. The change is that this bit of it wasn't done. It was just giving this code stated like 300,000. That's all. So now let's start with that question. Before I go to that question, I walk you through some of the entry first before we go to okay, that question six. That one was uh, Malibu, Malibu Limited. Good. But when it came in November 2016, look at the name that they call it M and M. Good. The same question came here, and they are calling it M and M Limited. No, it was Malibu. Oh, so, so that is the question for today. Now let's go to the board and then let's familiar ourselves with some few techniques that you need before you can do the, uh, what do you call, before you can do the, the entries. Good. Oh. Okay, now let's see. I hope everyone can hear me loud and clear because I've switched the microphone. So kindly let me know if you can hear me loud and clear. Good. Now, when they give you the scheme, we have to prepare closing entries. We call it not closing entries. Closing entries is for population. Good. So we have to prepare relevant entries. Relevant entries. Good. Hey. It's not coming over. It's not coming there. Don't worry. It's in there. No, the marker. Good, 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 good. I think it's okay. I think it's better. Good. So now let's see. So the relevant entry, front entries that we have to enter. We have to enter relevant entries for the capital reduction. Wow, the camera. 
Cool. So that's fine. Now the entries, they are, when they give you the scheme, the first one that we have to prepare is called capital reduction account. Capital reduction account. Good. Capital reduction account. Perfect. Capital reduction account. That's the first workings. These are entries before finally we prepare the statement of financial position. Good. Now this capital reduction account, I prefer you doing it like this for me. Yes, see account like this. In fact, uh, this class, the inception of the class, we banned debit and credits, but you're going to bring it back, but don't worry. Now here is for gains, it's a capital item or revenue account. So the credit side, as the right side is for gain. So anytime the company is gaining, you have to record it at what? The right hand side. That's the credit side. Then this section is for loss. So, you know, this capital reduction, the scheme that they have designed for you, it involves reduction of capital, cancellation of shares, conversion of shares. Somebody can have 30,000 in a business and you can decide to give the person convert it to shares of let's say 20,000. Wow, then we are gaining. You are using this gain to offset some of the losses. Good. You are using this gain to offset towards some of the losses. So that is it. Now, aside the losses and gains, all the assets must be revalued. In capital reduction scheme, all the losses must be what? Sorry, all the assets must be revalued, especially non-current assets. So the revalued amount versus the book value, there will be some revaluation gain or loss. So if it's a revaluation gain, it must be recorded here, all gains. If it's a loss, it must be here. Good. So it includes revaluation gains. Revaluation gains. It will also include what? Cancellation of shares. Wow. Cancellation of what? Shares. Because if you cancel any of the shareholders, their share, it's a gain to the company. So, cancellation of what? Of shares. Of shares also form part of uh, the gains. Now what again? Now let's come to the loss. The loss is revaluation loss. Eh? When you compare the fair value to that of the book value, and then the fair value is lesser than the book value, then to revaluation loss. Good. And here, the income surplus, it must be written off and always is negative, which depicts that the business is in struggle period. So the income surplus must be written off and it, it's a loss. So we bring it here, income surplus, good. Don't forget. And once again, cost of what? Reconstruction or reconstruction expenses. Reconstruction what? Expenses, so reconstruction expenses, yes. As long as we have cost of liquidation, or receiver's money in short, or liquidation expenses. You also have what reconstruction expenses, all must be here. Then you are done. You are done. So when you are done, you balance it nicely. Ideally, it must balance because it's a self balancing account. If you do it for well, it must balance. However, if it does not balance and genuinely, it's not your fault. Good. Then it means that they will have what you call capital surplus. So the difference must appear in the financial position because your financial position will not balance if this one does not balance. So take note. Once this one balances, thank God, your financial position will also balance. How we get that? Good. So that is it. So that's the first account that we open. Second, can ask you to open 
the ordinary share, ordinary share capital account. So the ordinary share, ordinary share capital account. Good. Now I want to have a credit balance. You bring the open balances and then you make any necessary cancellation, addition, conversion. But they can convert preference share to ordinary share. They can convert a long-term debt to ordinary share. They perform all those calculations in. And then basically, let me add one more to it. Preference shares. And then they are bank. If I stop even writing preference share, I'll even write the bank balance. So the C should be the bank balance. Bank balance. Very important. Because in the scheme, someone has to bring money, someone has to pay. You have to pay the re reconstruction expenses, raising of new shares, they will bring funds. We are going to pay some of the overdraft, some of the liability, the present one, we have to pay them. So we need the bank balance afterwards. So these are the entry. Now, this one can form a workings if they don't ask you. It might be your weapons. If they ask you, they have to do it. Then finally, you prepare the statement of the financial position. The statement of the financial position is the main aim of the game. So that is it. So now I'm done with the items needed to prepare the financial position. So the finally, we will prepare the statement of the financial position after the scheme has been what accepted. So that is it. Good. Now let's go up to the question and then let's do justice to it. If you have other device, uh, don't worry, I'll project the question. Or if I have other device, you can open it through. I'll do the projection. I have no question, right? Good. So basically, that's all. So this, I prefer this one to that of what we did first, the design of the scheme, because I don't have six standard steps. But this one, no step to only capital addition account, ordinary share capital, and the bank balance. But I bet you the terms that they use in these questions are not straightforward. That one I'll tell you. The terms that they use here is not straightforward. In design of the capital reduction scheme by yourself, that one, there's no technical jargon. Only the steps are many. But here, because it's very short, you have to make the terms look a bit technical. How big are that? Good. So take notes. Okay, and watch this question carefully. Yes. Good, because the questions are carefully selected. Okay, so let's go and look at the... So we are starting, let's go to the comment first and see. It is good for us. Prepare capital reduction account. See, stated capital account and what the bank account. Question number. What is the question? Number? Question number eight. Tutorial question number eight. Good. Tutorial question number what? Eight. Good. So require prepare capital reduction accounts, stated capital accounts and bank account. These are the three important ones. The stated capital normally is the ordinary shares and the preference share together. Ordinary share and preference share are collectively called stated capital. Good. Your stated capital. So now let's see. Good, 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 good. So now let's go to the footnotes. As usual, the right approach will still work here. Hmm, you start to additional information. Hey, so I didn't read the second part of the question. Let's go there. Prepare a statement of financial position of M and M Limited as at what? 1st October 2016 after the reorganization. Good. So now let's see. Uh, it says that M and no M, &M Limited. Producers of telecommunication equipment has been making losses in recent times 
the directors have proposed a scheme of reorganization to take effect on 1st October 2013. Good. To take effect 1st October 2013. I like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The directors have proposed, no, no, I've read that section. The statement of financial position of the company as at, it, as at 30th September 2013 is as follows. Good. Have you seen? It's as at um, 30th September 2013. But to go to the requirement, to go to the requirement, you can see as of October 2016, right? So it's 2013, not 2016. So not 2016. Good. But the financial position given to us is as of 2013. So that is it. So thank you. Now the items are there. All of them, they are there. Now let's go to additional information. So in reading, please identify gains and losses. Identify who will lose who will gain. Identify the sacrifices. Identify the convention. The ordinary shares are to be written down to 0 0.25 per share. That's uh, 25 pesos. Meanwhile, the ordinary share is what? Ordinary shares of 75, wow. 75 pesos. Yeah. Uh, information reaching me suggests that this is also your past question. Wow. Okay. What is the ordinary shares? The ordinary share is what? 75 pesos. Now these 75 pesos, we have to we have to write it down to what 25 pesos. So how much are they losing per share? How much are they losing per share? Now let's go to the board. If you have a share, if your share price is 75 pesos, and you tell the shareholders that because we are failing, we are going to reduce the share price to what? 25 pesos. So moving it from 0 0.5 Ghana cities up to what? 0 0.25. So it means that the shareholders have to sacrifice 0.5, right? Good. That would be a gain to that of what? The company, but detriment to the shareholders. So what do you do? So you open account, so it be like this, capital reduction account. Good. Then we said, okay, the number of, this one is per share, per share. So you find the number of shares that they have. They have what? 400,000 ordinary share. So you multiply the 400,000 by 0.5. That's 200,000. So this suggests that there will be a gain to the company. The company will gain by what? 200,000 Ghana cities. Then you show workings. Good. I'll, I'll be get that. Now this gain is coming from where? Tell us the source of the gain. Yes, it's coming from ordinary share. Ordinary share capital. So you open ordinary share capital account. So OD shares. The ordinary shares capital. Now when you open the account, what you do is this. Whatever is at the credit side, it must have a corresponding what debit entry. So you move it here and become an entity nicely. But don't forget to bring the open balance of the ordinary share. So open balance, so much to be in the question. The open balance of the ordinary share will be in the question. Then the reduction. This one is not start the game, so shouldn't even worry at all. All what you have to understand is that they are losing what 50 pesos because the share the share price was 75 pesos, and now you're going to write it down to 25. So it means that each share. They are losing about 50 pesos. If I understand this one, I'm done. That's only the big deal. Have you seen the terms? You started to do it. Okay, now let's go back to the game. Let's continue the game. And it didn't end though. Per share. And then to be converted into new ordinary share of what? One Ghana city fully paid. Wow. 
So it means that the 400,000 ordinary share must be reduced. Yeah, at one Ghana cities. So after the final one, after the final answer, then you divide it, you divide it by one, and then you are done. You are done. So we'll do the conversion. So to get the number of shares. So it means that the number of shares will reduce. Yes, it will reduce. If we are taking 200,000 out of 300, so the final answer will be 100. So the 100,000 divided by one will give us 100. Hmm. So it means that the number of shares after converting will be, what, will be 100, 100,000 shares. So now let's move on. No two. No two states that the preference shares are to be. Good. The preference shareholders are to receive 40,000 ordinary shares of one Ghana city per share, fully paid in exchange for their preference shares. Wow. So it means that uh, the ordinary share capital will be increased. Good. It will be increased by 40,000 shares in the exchange of the preference shares. So it means that all the preferences that we have currently, we are going to cancel all of them and then give them ordinary shares. And now, why are we doing this? We are doing this because preference share is very expensive. Yes. For the interest or the dividend is per annum 7% and every year whether we make profit or not have to give them 7% of the value but with ordinary shares that one dividend paid to ordinary shares holder is a discretionary out of managing management decision so the company can be there for five years that paying dividend two years that paying dividend but you cannot float preference share and say i'm not going to pay dividend preference share no whether you make profit or not. So in a struggling period, why can't we convert some of the fixed interest bearing items into a flexible interest? So that's the idea behind the conversion of preferences to ordinary shares. Preference share, they have a preferred treatment than ordinary share. Good. So now, what's the amount? How much are you giving them? So 40,000 ordinary share valued at one Ghana CD. So 40,000 by one Ghana CD will give us, will give us 40,000 CDs, agreed. Let's go and see the preference shares that they have. The preference share value is what? 100,000. Why are we giving them 40,000 to exchange something that costs 100,000? So it means that the business will save 60,000 Ghana cities if they should do this. So it's a gain which will go to the credit side of the company. Good. And then you add 40,000 to the ordinary shares or the OD, the ordinary share capital account. So that note is cleared. Agreed. Good. Now let's move on. Note three, dividend of 7% preference shares, dividend of the 7% preference shares are two years in arrears. Wow. In consideration of, in consideration of waiving their right to arrears of preference dividend, the preference shareholders have agreed to accept 10,000 new ordinary shares valued at what one Ghana CD per share, fully paid in final settlement. Fully paid in final settlement. So it means that we have to calculate the preference dividend in arrears. The preference dividend in arrears, it will be 7% of the value. So when you come here, 7% times the value of the preference share, which is 100,000. So that will give us what? 
point zero seven times hundred. That's seven times two, making fourteen thousand. So the preference dividend in arrears is fourteen thousand. But we are just giving them an amount of ten thousand shares. So ten thousand shares valued at one Ghana so will give us a value of ten thousand. So why are we paying? something that cost 14,000 with an amount of 10,000. So, you know, the company is saving by what? 4,000. How we get that? Good. And it's again, it must go to capital reduction, the credit side of capital reduction account. Perfect. Now, let's see. So that one is done. Not, um, Four, the creditors have agreed to take 100,000 new ordinary shares of one Ghana city per share, fully paid, in part settlement of the amount due them. In what part of part settlement, not full settlement. So here we can't say that they are going to gain. Let's go see the creditors. What are the creditors' value? Creditors, what are they? Trade payables, good. The value is what? 80,000, eh? Or is the one forty thousand? Yeah, that's the one forty thousand. Good. The trade payable. That's the creditors. The one forty thousand. Good. Hey, what is? <laughs> I like this. Okay, let me. I think someone is writing on my screen. Right? Someone is writing on my screen. Good, 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 good. So the credit is 140,000. So we are paying part. We are not paying all. So we should take notes. It's a part settlement. So we owe them 140,000. So if we pay 100, 11, 40,000, they say they fully paid in part settlement of the amount due them. So that, that does not mean that we are gaining 40,000. No, not at all. We are not paying all the 140. We are paying part. Once it's part, the other 40, we are still owing. Good. So that is it. We are paying with what? Ordinary share. Good. Now note um, five. The balance on the retained earnings account is to be written off. Here you don't need to be informed, especially when the balance is negative. Most of the times, these notes, you don't need to be informed that the retained earnings has to be struck off. Once it's negative, check the retained earnings. It's negative 160,000. So technically, it must be written off. Good. So that is it. Now note six, some of the assets of the company have been revalued and are to be incorporated incorporated into the account as follows. So, freehold premises, you compare whether the business will gain or what they will lose. Now, in the new financial position, all the assets, you have to use the fair value, the rate value amount. The book value will no longer be used. Good. Now, the freehold premises is 100,000. So you compare this with the book value and see whether they are gaining or they are losing. So freehold premises, here's it. Premises is what, 80,000, good. Premises is 80,000. Now, 80,000, and I have been revalued to what, 100,000. So they are gaining by what, 20,000. How we get, good. Plant and equipment, fair value is 125,000, but the, the, book value or the current amount is what? 190. So are they gaining or they are losing? 190 against 125. So they are losing, right? By the difference. Perfect. And you put it at the credit side of the, sorry, at the debit side of the capital reduction. Good. Vehicles, 25,000. The vehicles here is 30,000. So they are losing by what? 5,000. Inventory. Number one, the NRV. 
inventory, the fair value or the revalued amount of the inventory is 36,000. No, while the current amount of the inventory is 40,000. So they're also losing by what? 4,000. Good. What about trade, receivable, and bank? There's no bad thing. Now let's see. An allowance of 3,500 is to be made for DAFO debts. Wow. So, so 3,500, so we take it off. So that 3,500 becomes the loss to the company. And then you, when you go to the new financial position, to get the trade receivable, you subtract this figure from the current value of the assets of the trade receivable. Good. And then you are done. Now note seven. No seven stated that the ordinary shareholders have agreed to inject additional 90,000 cash by acquiring 120,000 120, ordinary shares at 75% per share, fully paid. So, here yeah, there's no need for you to do any calculation. The 90,000 straight away will add up to cash. And then what do you do? And then, you add it to your stated capital. Good. Then the last note stated that reorganization costs amounted to 7,500. So that's the cost of what? reconstruction, which will come to the debit side of capital reduction account. On that note, we are done with the footnote. As usual, we are still going by the right approach. Requirement, additional information, and the trial balance or the financial statement. So let's come to the financial statement. Which of the items that we've not mentioned? Premises, we've, we've talked about it. Bank, 10,000, we've not talked about bank. So when you're paying the bank account, all the funds received, we added all the funds going out to Mr. Packet. Good. But this question is a very nice question. That's why they have repeated it two times. So it has been treated in ICA two times, CIB once. So uh, I guess they have to do the second time. So I have to draw, draw two for ICA, two for CIB. Then the equation has to balanced. So now, the current liability, the trade payable, is even more than the current asset, giving us. giving us the working capital negative, giving a negative working capital of 60,000. It's no news, but the business is struggling. Now the net asset is 240. State capital is made up of two, preferential and ordinary share capital, which is 400 in total. Retain energy is negative, so we take it off, get 240, like that. Now let's go to the board and start the game. So first of all, so we should prepare what? Uh, we should prepare capital reduction account, state capital account, and bank account. So now let's see. Please, this account, give with me. I may take some of them off to flow with me so that you can get it. Good. Now let's go to the board and then set it to. I hope you get it right. Okay. If I have any question, can you ask before we continue the game? Good. Before we continue the game. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Good, 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 good. Okay. Um, good. So we are going to open the account and then finally you prepare the financial position. Please, it's not only capital reduction, the first three the three item apps that we are going to open. I'm going to open a lot of accounts, but the key ones are the one that asks in the question, the three. So first of all, let me create a demarcation. So, A, 
you are opening capital reduction account. So capital reduction, as you can see from that bit of the ball, like, hmm, like a wall. And it is two. Good, 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 good. Okay, let's see. So capital reduction account. Hmm. Good. Like this. Then our bank accounts and then the stated capital. The stated capital, we have to prepare both ordinary share account and then the preference shares account. So uh, I will do the ordinary share here. Ordinary share. Please do not copy yet because if the items are many, you may clean this one and extend it. So do not copy yet until we are done. Good. If ordinary share capital. And I'll do the preferences here. Preferences. So let me preference share. Finally, bank account. The bank account. Good. So that is it. Now let's start the game. So we are going to read the notes one after the other. So as soon as we read the notes, then we discuss how it will be treated or how it will be affected. So, so take notes. So note one. The note one. The note one will be Note one, so let's see. It's not coming out. Note, 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 note. Let's go to the question. Hey, where are you? Okay, so we are starting with note one officially. Note one stated that the ordinary share, ordinary shares are to be written down to. 0.5 per share and then to be converted back towards new ordinary share at uh, one Ghana CD code. So that is it. Now look at how we are going to solve this. The ordinary shares, how many shares are they? Position they have 400,000 ordinary share good and then valued at what 75 pesos. And now we, we have to reduce the 75 pesos to that of 25. So the company will gain, meanwhile, the shareholders will lose good. So that is it. So now let's go to the board and let's see how we will perform this calculation. So, first of all. It means that the ordinary share capital, they will lose, but it's a gain to the company, which will come to the capital reduction account. So let's see how we will calculate it. So it will must move from ordinary shares. So we write ordinary shares. You open your bracket nicely. You open your bracket nicely. Good, good, good. And just a second. Okay. So now let's see. So the loss will be zero dot seven five. Let me do the workings here. My body is too small there. Um, but I'll do it here. So to be zero point seven five plus the zero dot two five. Don't forget that the point five is not in the question. Don't forget. That the 0.5 is not in the question. Times the number of shares, 400,000. So I'll give a 0.5 times 400. So they are losing by what? 200,000 Ghana CDs. 
So you write ordinary share. We are losing to ordinary shares, 200,000. Good. I hope you can see the 200,000. I cannot see it clear. Mm. I'm going it like that. Eh? Okay, if I do that, that one too. Okay, good. So that is a 200,000. Then it's our what side? Here is the gain, the company's gain. It's at the credit side. So it must come to the, the debit side of the corresponding entry. And then the corresponding entry will be an ordinary share account. So let's open ordinary share account and bring it in. I'm missing it. Good. So that is why I write it here. But before I enter anything in the ordinary share, I have to record the open balance. And ordinary share capital, the open balance will be at the credit side. So what's the open balance? So that's the balance brought down. The open balance of the ordinary share capital was 300,000 from the question. Let's look at it quickly. Open balance, that's what, 300,000 ordinary share, the value, good. So now it's 300,000, so let's put it here. The open balance is 300,000. Now, uh, capital reduction, they are losing to capital reduction. Uh, let me shortcut cut it then, because the body is too small. Capital reduction. And that will be 200,000. Ghana cities, good. How do you get that? So that is the first entry. Wow. Mm, this camera will, why is the camera then I think has share the board. The camera has share the board. Okay, so that is it. Now when you do this, to be on server side, you can decide to balance it off, but do not be affected. You can decide to balance it off, but you can still leave it like that. Then there is no trouble again. If there is a um, share for share, or there is share exchange, or there is uh, right issue, then you'll be in trouble. Good. Okay. Now let's move on. So basically, that's the note one. Now it will be converted back. So it means that the balance level is 100,000, right? If we take 200,000, we are reducing our value by 200, so 1,100. So it means originally the value is 100,000 Ghana cities. And now they say it must be converted to one Ghana city. You have to convert to one city. So converting to one city means you have to divide it by one city. So in effect, how many shares? 100,000 shares. So if you're looking for the number of shares, it's what? 100,000. Why 100,000? It's 100,000 because it's 100,000 because the value is 100,000 and then the, now the share price is what? One Ghana city. No longer 25 or 75. Good. In fact, this one is a debate action to let the shareholders know. Now let's go to note two and then quickly do justice with it. Uh, most of them I will run. Today we will have a very short class. So, note two. The preference shares are to receive 40,000 ordinary share of one Ghana city per share uh, fully paid in exchange of their preference shares. Oh, okay. So, what's the preference shares? Preference shares is on top. So, we are giving them 4,000 to this exchange of their value. Preference share, the value is 100,000. So if preference share, you have to open preference share accounts. So let's go to the top later. Good. So the preference share account is here. They have a credit balance. So balance brought down is what? 100,000. And then we are paying them with shares of 40,000. So we are giving them ordinary share of 40,000. So we have to record it here. So we come here and say ordinary share, 40,000. Good. 
we are giving them 40,000 Ghana cities. Now it is recorded here. It must go to the ordinary share account at the credit side. So the ordinary share for now say preference shares we are receiving from preference share or converting preference share that will be 40,000. Good. So that is a 40,000 in the preference share account. Then what do you do? Please follow us. In. Other than that, the thing was cut because I'm not receiving no trade. The thing has start, started jamming. Yes, but by the time you finish, all the board will be occupied. One, 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 we are filling the board with food. And a thousand, twenty thousand now we share. Good. So now if they have a stake of hundred thousand, we are giving them forty thousand. So we are gaining, right? Now we we'll go to capital reduction. Again, you go to capital reduction. That's sixty thousand. We are gaining by sixty thousand. In capital reduction account, it's at what side? Yes, yeah, at the debit. It must go to the credit or it again. You write here preference shares. So preference shares. We are gaining by sixty thousand. Good. Eventually, we are gaining by sixty thousand. Uh, this sixty thousand, I cannot see it well. So once you are uh, hearing the sound. It's a camera. Sorry, the camera is supposed to be here, not here. This laptop is supposed to be here. The camera is supposed to go there. Can I do that now? No. Okay, so we are done with the notes too. When you do that, you balance. So you can balance it off so that we clear the preference shares from the game. So now the profit, the preference share, they are out of competition. They are out of the game. You no longer owe them again because their position has balanced. So they are out of the game. Good. Now let's move on to notes uh, three. Eh? Then we are going gradual, gradual. So finishing it too. Uh, notes. So three states that dividend of seven percent per shares, not per share, so per share. No, it's not per share. It says that dividend of seven percent preference shares, yeah. Seven percent preference shares. Seven percent preference shares are two years in arrears. In, in consideration, in consideration, oh, where am I reading from? In consideration of waiving their right to the arrears of the preference dividend, the preference shareholders have agreed to accept 10,000 new shares. 10,000 new shares at one Ghana CD per share, fully paid in final settlement. Good. So we are going to give them 10,000 Ghana CDs to pay for the the dividend in arrears in respect of shares load. So it means that the ordinary share will increase. The ordinary share worth will increase by 10,000. So you call it dividend in arrears. It's moving from dividend in arrears. Dividend in arrears, 10,000 Ghana cities load. Oh, sorry, the board is fine here. Let me go to the board. Sorry, okay. So sorry. They write dividend because we are canceled their dividend and giving them shares equivalent to 10,000. Meanwhile, the dividend in arrears is not 10,000. Let's calculate the dividend in arrears. Their stake is 7% times the 100,000, the value, times two years because the dividend has been in arrears for how many years? Two years. Uh, why is the camera slanting like, and writing like that? Original, and I'm actually suffering from pupomiasis. And the camera is adding more to it, not just good. So the answer was 14,000, right? Good. So the dividend in is 14,000. Why are we settling something costing 14,000 with an amount of 10,000? So the company is gaining. So let's come here. Dividend in arrears. The company is gaining by. 4,000. Don't forget that this 4,000 is not in the question. So show working. Good. So 
So I just less than ten thousand here. Have you seen? Yes, I've shown my work in here. Good. So I'll put the four thousand in here. Perfect. So that is the game. We are done. And then it ends there. Now let's move on to the next note. Note four. Note four. Now note four stated that. Uh, note four stated that. The creditors have agreed to take 100,000 new shares of one Ghana city per share, fully paid in past settlements. So we are paying the creditors with shares. Wow, 100,000. So it means that the shares will increase. So right here, creditors are payable. Trade payable. And then we are, how much are you giving them? We are giving them 100,000 in the name of shares. So it will come here. And then when we open, when we open creditors account, we take it off. Yes. Those those um, accounts, I may not open it because it only affects only one transaction. We don't need to open them. So we can keep it in mind that the creditors value is 140 on a statement of financial position. They trade payables. Their value is 140. Now we've paid what 100,000 with shares. So it means that the remaining 40,000. In the new balance sheet, the creditors will be 40,000, not worth the 140. And this 40,000 is not a gain. Good. It's not a gain because we are not using 100,000 to clear off the 140,000. If you are doing that, then it becomes a gain to the company. Now let's move on to the next note. Have you seen that we are finishing it? So just right now, now we are about to finish it. That's, what, that's why I like these questions more than the capital reduction scheme. Just that these questions are very horrible because the terms that sometimes we use are confusing. Conversion, issuing, settle, cancel. Yeah, the the some ones are not in it plenty. So that's I like this question. Now note five. The balance on the retained earnings on let's grab it off. You don't need to be so that the balance must be scope off. Now the balance on the retained earnings. Uh, the balance on the retained earnings. What's the retained earnings? The retained earnings figure. Uh, I forgot to know. The retained earnings figure 160. You have to scrap it off. What? 160,000. Good. You have to scrap it off. So it's a loss. Scrapping loss, you have to bring it here. So income surplus. No, they say retained earnings. So to avoid authorized. Thank God, Autorialis has been removed from the new company's code. So when we do that, we are not doing Autorialis. So we can't end it. No shortcut in Asia, so put your 160,000 here. Nicely, put your Ghana CD here. Don't forget. OK, now let's move on with the game. Have you seen? Just when you're about to finish you. So this one, everybody should like it. Everybody should answer this question for me, OK? Good. Now, no six, some of the assets of the company have been revalued. So let's compare those that have again. Try, there's a question. Okay, let me go and pick the questions up. And let's see. Let's see the questions. Try the questions. Okay, it says that. And. The come is too close to the board. If I don't do that to, if I don't do that to, you won't see it well. If I go back, I'm not sure you can see it well. If I go back, okay, I think this one will do right. Good, I think this one will do. I don't know why the thing is doing like that. Okay, I think I have to shift this one here. Is a PC setting. I think the face machine should even come here across. And then the camera should rather face the board. Good. Okay. And it's perpendicular by section A. Eh? Okay, this time to 90 degrees Celsius. Okay, let's go. 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 Good. I think this one's okay, right? I don't like the way it has turned the, 
that's captured the screen. Okay, I think this one is okay. Good. I think this one is okay. Okay, with the credit test explanation, eh? yes, with the credit test, the credit test, we are paying them 100,000 in respect of shares as part payment of the amount that we owe them, not full settlement. We owe them 140, but we are giving them what? 100,000 ordinary share or shares valued at what? 100,000 to step. To pay part. So it means that we owe them 40,000 remaining. No. So that is it. Now let's see. I guess you can do the next notes. So now the revaluation, we have to compare the fair values to that of the book value. So when you pick it, then you compare. Freehold is 100,000. The book value is what? Book value of freehold is 80. So there's a gain of 20. So what's the name? Premises. So right here, premises. Please show working. Open your bracket, something minus something. And put the 80,000 here. How we get that? Good. And put the 80,000 there. No, not 80,000. It's 20,000, right? Yeah. Good, 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 good. Okay, so it should be 20,000 because the fair value is 100. So to be 100 less what? 80,000, right? Good. So that, please don't forget to show the work is over. Now let's go to the next asset on the list to finish it quickly. The next asset, if you can compare and give the values, I'll be grateful. If you can compare for me and give me the values, I'll be grateful. Good. So, plant and equipment two is what? One, two, five, less what? 190. So, that one is a loss, right? So that one is a loss. You can't be. So, plant into bracket one, two, five, less 190. And that will give us uh, 190 less 125. It doesn't matter which one comes first, so 65,000. 65,000. It doesn't matter which one comes first. Can make it 190 minus 125. What matters is it's a loss. We are making it at work. The debit side. We are done. Then let's see the next asset on the list. The next one is what? Uh, vehicles. The book value is 30,000, but the fair value is what? 25. So, vehicles, they are also losing. So, vehicles, they are losing by 5,000. Now, to show what you know, like I said, most of them you do it for me. When you see the open the bucket there, you put the 5,000 there. Hmm. It's not become too small. It's not become too small. So, 5,000. Good, perfect. Uh -huh. Now it's big. Yes. Uh, this camera, you can do well. Uh, you deserve talking. Uh, I like. Okay, so motor vehicle loss of 5,000. Yeah, continue the game. I wish you know the game is. So I like this one more than what the system. So this one is a double entry. So double entry in financial reporting and accounting is very good. You don't need you don't struggle here. But all the same, if your double entry is not good too, you can so go by now. You don't go by debit and credit, you go by what loss and gain. If you know that debit and credit is an issue for you, then please don't go by debit and credit. Go by what loss or gain. Good. Go by loss or gain. So if the company is losing, the company is gaining, that's all good. Now let's move on. Uh, which asset? The net asset on the list is what? Inventory. Inventory is 36,000 here, but the value is what? 40,000. So we are losing by what? Or you will lose by 
by 4,000, so even three. Have you seen how you are doing it? So you open your bracket, do your workings, and I'll put the 4,000 here. Like I said, though, I'll cancel it too. Mm. I told you. So don't copy this one. Don't copy this one because you may clean it because this one is plenty. Good. It means that when you go to the new the financial position, the values for the values, you have to pick the fair values. Then you are done. You pick the fair values. Now let's continue the game. Okay, today we will close exactly 9.45. So, today we close as soon as we are done with this. So that you prepare for tomorrow. Because some of you have uh, made an exam so that you can go and then have it closed. So I decided that today we, have, we will close a bit early. Oh, we are done with the fair value. Yeah, let me just three notes and we are done, right? Wow, that's good news. So note um, seven, it says that allowance of 3,500 is to be made for doubtful debt. So the bad debt, uh, it must be reduced. So it's a loss to the company. Please, I want to make some small changes here. Uh, let me reduce the the height of this, so let me write the OD share, ordinary share, so let me write it down here. So here will be bad debt, or provision for bad debt, yes, allowance, it's a provision for bad debt, 3,500. How we get that? Let me do one more item, then we are done with the capital reduction scheme. So please, can you move with me? Move with me. So it means that in a new financial position, the receivable figure, you have to subtract 3,500 from the receivable figure. Okay. Oh, wow, the bank account has not been affected. Though. Now, let's see. Good. Now, the note seven it says that the ordinary shareholders have agreed to inject. Additional what 90,000 cash by acquiring what 120,000 ordinary shares at what uh, 75 pesos per share fully paid. All what you need is that they are paying 90,000 shares, so that is it. They are making 90. So, how are you going to do this? So, who is given to who? So, it means that the bank account will increase, right? We have to add it to our bank accounts. What the bank balance? The bank balance is 10,000. So before I do the entries, I have to record the open balance here. So balance go down. That's the open balance, which is what 10,000 Ghana cities. Now the ordinary share capital, they are giving us what 90,000. So to record it here, 90,000 to increase. So at the debit side, then we write what ordinary shares because it's coming from OD. Ordinary shares. Then we come and then add it here and write cash. So they are paying by what? By cash. We go to the bank account. And we write what? 90,000 here. Good. For every debit entry, there must be corresponding credit entry. Then balance. No capital reduction. Good. Now let's see. Yeah, I don't know. Let me last note. Then we are done for. Wow. So everybody will like this question. Eh? Yes. Everybody will like it. Including the examiner. That's why it has come two times. Good. Uh, reorganization costs amount hey, amounted to 7,500. Okay. So where? Where, will, where are you going to place it? Reorganization costs. To come in the capital reduction and to come in where? The What's the name? The bank account, because they will pay. Yes, they will pay. So you put it here, reorganization. So reorganization cost. So reorganization cost. That's 7,500. 7,500. Please. Uh, the distance. Yes. The distance. Now we are done. That's the last note. We are done for the 
day. And basically, the tribe. Now, the reorganization cost will be so reorganization. Reorganization cost will be seven thousand five hundred. Good. Now we are done. Let's balance it off, and then we are true. Okay, we prepare the financial position. Then we are done. Then we can have. Okay. So now let's balance it. So add all the debit side, one side. Then you relax for a while. You come back again. All the credit side. Also, put it down. The bigger one rule. So let me go up a little. Good. So start adding for me. Please leave in that space. Too. Don't do this in exams. Leave in that space over here. Yes. In exams, please. Exams, do not do two accounts on the same the same horizontal surface. Please. If the sheet is like this, let it cover. Please, let it cover like this. So don't come and do something cha -cha Something cha -cha like this. Okay, something to talk one like this. One here and one here. And you'll be forced to write something small, small, small. Okay. Hmm. Some of the examiners hmm. don't see it well. I mean, they see it well, but the presume is not there. So, 284, right? Yes, 284. What about the 284? Then, what about this side? This side, too. The credit side. Then we are almost through. Any answer for me? Credit side. Hmm, no answer. Two. Two four four point five. Okay. So it means that the, this session is more than this, right? Good. So it is not balancing, right? It's supposed to balance because it's a self balancing account. If it's not balancing, don't worry yourself at all. Just find the difference and then you are done. Mm -hmm. So that would be 39,500, right? Good. So there's a, a balance of 39,500. Uh, can, can I clean just the top of what, you, what I'm cleaning? Uh, yes. Please, now that you can. Copy the cap share capital account. I will recopy it back again. So you balance it off like this, like that. Mm. Please, if you can copy this capital reduction account, I'll be to so take it off. Or we can balance it off and then we take it off from the screen. So let's balance it off before I clean it. A capital reduction. I want to let's balance it off. I like that. 245,000. Mm. You have 245,000. That's good. Okay, let's balance the. Yes, uh, Okay, it's 245,000, right? I like that. Please, before you do that, so I can take this session off. I didn't do the calculation. So, this session too, when you balance it off, or oh, the balance carry down, come here. So, balance carry down. The closing balance will be here. What's the closing balance for the capital so that we take it off? And so the capital 300 plus 40 plus 10 plus 100 plus 90. So 340, 350, 450, uh, 450, 540, right? Good. So 540,000. 540,000. Now you come here, you put a 540 here. You strike the difference. That'll give us 340, right? Good. So 340,000. Perfect. You are done. So now the balance for the stated capital, that's the ordinary share, is 340,000. A new financial statement. Good. So done. So now I'm going to take it off. Hey, 340 will not come off. So you. Hmm, the 340 did not come. Good, the 340 did not come. So now the 340 is there. So now take it, you can take a screenshot of it before I take it off, and then we balance it off, and then get out. Is that 945? 
and so that you can go for the video examiner. Let me be checking the time. Oh, 22. Is that something? And it's okay. Yeah, so let's see. So I can go for the video examiner. I like that. So now let me take this session off so that you can go ahead and then you can get enough space to do what you want to do. Good. So now we are balancing it off. Now you leave a space, you leave a space. Okay. Now let's see how best we can do this. Uh, good. Good. Now let this session is more than this, all right? So someone give me the figure. It says three, four, nine, two, three, four. Okay, so two, eight, four thousand. Write the same figure to here, two, eight, four thousand, and find the difference. What should we add to this? So that would be thirty-nine thousand, right? Good. So we write here. Right here, uh, the different 39,000. We we'll call it capital surplus. So, right, call it capital or surplus, which will be in a new financial position. Then you add that. Good. Now, let's balance in the remaining ones. You know, we balance the capital. Let's go to the bank. Preference share, they've, they've moved from the game long ago. So, in fact, this capital surplus, when you go, is a revaluation gain. It's the essence of the revaluation. Yes, it's a revaluation that creates that. So, when you go to the new financial position, it's a gain for the company. It's a plus for the company. Yes. Okay. So, now let's go and balance the bank. Then we are done. Okay. So... Let's see. The bank will be uh, hundred thousand, and here will be what? Hundred thousand. Okay. Ninety-two five hundred. Good. Okay, that's fine. So we are done. Let's quickly prepare the financial position and then we are done for the day. Good. Okay. So let's see how the financial position will look like. Then we are done. To be so straightforward. Don't forget that you bring 39,000 in the financial position. Please can I clean this session? Going, going on. Financial position. So let's see how best we can do this. So with the financial position, but uh, this is the big part of the question. The name of the company should come with the M and M. Yes, this is M and M. Limited. Good. The statement of statement. Of financial position as that delete you put it there. Now let's see simplest one. Non current assets. Yeah, if you like, you can copy the examiner's format. If you like, you can make your own format. If you like it. Non current assets. So premises. You have to take the fair value, the one in the footnotes. Premises was 100,000, if I remember. And then um, plant, eh? Plant two was what? 125,000, if I remember. Yeah. Then motor, vehicle. Vehicle is 25,000, right? Yeah. If I remember. Putting all this together, putting all this together, we have 250,000. You come to current assets. Current what assets inventory it was a loss of six thousand or so. You have to pick the thirty six thousand, right? Inventory is thirty six thousand. Receivable. They didn't say anything about receivable. They said something. No. Account receivable. The value was what's the value of account receivable? 
and the account receivable. Good, the account receivable, the value is from the financial position. Trade receivable. That's 30,000, right? Good. So the 30,000 less than 3,500, uh, bad it. So to be 30,000 less than 3,500, that will give us 30,000 less 3,500, that will give us, it's what about the freehold? And uh, that's the premises. In this, on, on the face for score premises. So that's why it's the premises. That's the premises, 100,000, so. So less 3,500. This is what you get. 30,000 less 3,500. Now give us 22,000, 27,000, 26,500. So 26,500. Good. Then bank. The bank balance. Bank balance 92,500. So it'll be 92,500. We are done. Current asset total. Then we are done for the day. 36,000, 1, 2, 3, plus 26,500, plus 92,500. That'll give us 155,000. 155,000. Total assets. Total assets will be. Total asset will be plus 250, 1, 2, 3. That will give us 405,000. So 405,000. We don't want to line it. 405,000. Good. Now let me take this section off and then start with the. And start with the. The credit section. Now equity. Equity. No, oh, let me come down. Equity to live with only state capital. Equity live with only state capital. That's ordinary share. So you can just write the ordinary share. The ordinary share value was 340,000. I don't remember. For 340,000. Then there's no income support. Uh, there's a capital support here. Capital support here. Capital surplus of um, 39,000. The difference that we had coming from the capital reduction to 39,000. And what again? We put it together. So you have 379,000. Good. 379,000. Now let's go to the liabilities. So here now add all the liabilities together as one. All the liabilities. Now the liabilities are assuming few. So don't forget that when we pick it, the liabilities, let's go to the liability session. Uh, trade payable is 40,000, right? Trade payable is 40,000, it's 140,000. Well, we paid uh, trade is 140,000, right? Trade payable is 140,000. Well, we paid 100,000, so let it work. 40,000, so let me 40,000. So when we add this 40,000 to this, we add a 40,000, take care of all, let me 40,000. So 40 plus 379, 419 less Good, 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 good. Good, 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 good. So that is it. So the 14,000 has to be restated. Good. And the 14,000 has to be restated. Good. The 14,000 has to be restated in the financial position. Good. So, lovely to be the current. Uh, Lovely little payables. Then we are done. Good. Okay, please. What about the food? I think we've done just to it. So, uh, 
uh, there was a 14,000 which has not been captured on the financial position. Good, 14,000 that which have not been captured on the financial position. That we captured it. That, uh, the, the debenture interest that we paid. Yeah, the yes, and then I did we add the 4,000 to we added it. Yes, we had the four thousand there. Good. So that is good. So that is it. So it means that the preference dividend in areas must be restated. It must be restated. It must be restated to the two of the amount that we are paying. Yeah, the preference dividend must be restated. Actually, let me explain that one a little bit. Uh, with a preference dividend, if you are, we are owing of a dividend of 14,000, and we are going to pay, we are using 10,000 to pay off. Now, the issue is this. Uh, this 14,000 has not been stated on the financial position. So we have to state it first. And stating it, it's a, a loss to us or it's an expense to us. It's a loss to us. We bring it to we bring it to the credit side of it. So that we reduce it to so the fourteen thousand will be recorded. Will be recorded here. Will be recorded at the debit side because it's an expense to us. And then we have stated it, and then we had a, what, a gain of 4,000. So this is how that bit is supposed to be treated. Good. So thank you. We have to restate the 14,000. It means that that's when we're putting 14,000 at the debit side with the capital reduction account. Or in short, in short, if you balance this one off to, oh, that bit is not coming, sorry. Or uh, in short, if you balance this one to you get 10,000, so you have to put 10,000 in the, in the credit side, sorry, the debit side of the capital reduction account, because this and this, to balance off and give 10,000, right? Good, so that's it. Now, when you go by this approach, the second one I do, that's this, that one means that, you have a debt, some owing, but that owing is not capitalized presently on your balance sheet. So it's assumed that you are not owing, but you are going to pay with 10,000. So to the tune of the amount that you are going to pay, it should be recorded. You are going to pay with the 10,000. So the, only the 10,000 must be recorded. Good. So let's do the a few adjustments. So to reduce the 39,000 to 25,000, how we get that? To 25,000. So there will be 14,000 at the debit side. Mm. There will be 14,000 for restatement of the dividend in arrears. Or if you don't like this approach to, then that 4,000 will not come at all because you're going to pay with 10,000. So only 10,000 will be shown at the debit side. And then you get it right. So it means that the, it reduce this balance to 25,000. The balance will be 25 because difference between 39,000 and 14,000 is 25,000. And then the balance will be reduced to 25,000. Good. Okay, so let's put the 25,000 here. Which also comes 365,000. Good, 365,000. And we come to the liabilities. We have the trade payable. Trade payable. Now the trade payable, they paid hundred thousand out of what the one forty thousand. So left with forty thousand, right? Good. So it should be hundred thousand one forty plus hundred thousand. And that'll give us forty thousand. So putting it together. We have a total equity and liabilities of what four zero five thousand. So this will what will give us um uh what do you get what do you get what do you get what do you get total 
equity and liabilities. Good, we are done for the day. So this is how to be solved. Good, don't forget to include the 14,000. Don't forget to include the 14,000 for me. Then we are done for the day. Huh? Balance of 4,000 on the dividend. Yes, there's a balance of 4,000. That 4,000 is at uh, the both side, it's at uh, the credit side. So in the capital reduction account, what we are doing is this. That 4,000, we are going to maintain it. Yes, it's a gain. So the 4,000, as soon as it's a capital reduction account, the 4,000 will still be here as a gain on dividend. And we still record dividend of 14,000. We can record three statements of 14,000. So there must be a dividend at the at the uh, debit side, good. So that is it. Good, 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 good. So we are done for the day. So that's how we got the dividend. Yes. Let's look at the, the note of the dividend areas. Uh, yes. Note three. Note three. So let's go quickly and then we are um, no three, why are you? No try, no try you. Okay, so no three. Good. So no three stated that dividend of the seven percent preference just are two years in arrears in consideration of the waiving their right to the arrears of preference dividend. The preferred dividend shareholders have agreed to accept 10,000 new shares, valued at what one Ghana CD. So it will be 10,000 cities fully paid in final settlements. In final settlements. So the dividend is what? We calculated the dividend at, uh, at 7% times, no, that side is not. Right. We calculated the dividend at 7% times uh, the 100,000 times what two years good and we had 14,000 so the dividend of 14,000 just that this has not been captured on a financial position that's the only issue that's the only mess that's not been captured on a financial position so it means that we have to restate it again and it's a loss to them will it be a gain it will be a loss so a loss must be recorded here so they are losing by 14,000 when they pay that dividend good 14,000 here and they are using and you are going to pay ten thousand, so they will gain by they will gain by what four thousand. So you pay the four thousand here, the gain, and you are done. Good. So that is it. So that's how you got it. So thank you very much. If I remaining part of the questions are yours, try and do justice to them for me. Okay, and you'll be fine. And the same question was repeated. Look at the question carefully. So do not. And then uh, question. Yes, uh, the question nine to be yours. So we are done for today. Thank you, thank you very much for coming. Uh, I'll see you when I see you. For those of you who have, who have to go for the mini exam now, you can probably go. So that, uh, come and share with us. So thank you. For